All right, so just gonna like get your feet moving, get boob up moving. He's just sleeping in the corner. <laughs> Three, two, one, reach across, twist, pivot your foot, keep your core tight, warm up that spine. You get that volume turned up. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm going to keep talking loud. I think my roommate's sleeping, but I don't really care. He'll be fine. He'll get over it. <laughs> Twist. So it's 45 seconds, two rounds through, three different exercises. This is just the warm-up, so don't take it too hard if you're already warmed up. You can maybe take it down to a little bit of a squat if you want to, keeping that chest lifted, warming the spine. Four, three, two, jog it out. Keep your feet moving. Maybe just kind of roll those shoulders out a little bit. So we're gonna do an overhead reach, side to side, starting here in three, two, one. Reach overhead, just warming up those obliques, warming up that spine, different angle. Keep your core tight. Keep going, somebody else needs to be added. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Reach, reach, reach. Keep your core tight. 15 seconds. <laughs> 10 more seconds, keep moving. Should feel those obliques engaging a little bit. Three, two, one, jog it out. Move those shoulders. So we're hitting a front kick with a reach and pull with the arms. So you're gonna front kick, alternating sides, reach and pull with the arms. Starting in three, two, one, reach and pull. So if you haven't taken like an actual class with me or you haven't done my YouTube videos, I use this interval timer for most classes except yoga. And so for the, every time you hear that little ding, you'll either start or stop an exercise. So these are our three exercises, going through them one more time. And then moving on to new exercises, I'll make them a little bit harder this time. Keep your core tight, suck the abs in. Yeah, five seconds. Three, two, one. Jogging it out, maybe pulling the heels back toward the glutes, maybe shaking those arms out a bit. So we got that twist side to side. Starting here in three, two, one. Maybe bending those knees a little bit, getting into a little bit of a squat, pivoting those toes, keep your chest lifted. The more you bend those knees, the harder it'll be. Twist. Twist, twist. Ooh. I love that my cat's just passed out behind me. <laughs> really, boo. 15 seconds, bend those knees a little bit more. You got four. Three, two, one, jog it out. Reach overhead, 10 seconds. So goal is like never stop moving through class. At least jog or step. Three, two, reach. Maybe you come into a little bit of a squat here with those knees pointed out. A little bit of a wide squat. Reaching over head to make it just a little bit harder. Keep your core tight, keep your chest lifted. Tip side to side. Open the shoulders, open the abs. 15 seconds. Four. Three, two, jog it up, front kick, 
So this time if you want to add like a little bit of like a jump to it, getting a little bit more of like a momentum, pulling the arms back a little faster, that'll make it just a little bit harder. Three, two, one, kick, kick. Alternate sides, <clears throat> someone else wants to be added. All right, keep going, kick, 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 kick. Pump those heels toward the wall in front of you or whatever's in front of you. Twenty seconds. And by twenty I mean fifteen, because I don't know numbers apparently. <laughs> Keep going. Four, three, two, one, jog it out. Left my workout plan over here. Okay. <laughs> jog it out, jog it out, jog it out. We're going one, two, three step, touching the toe. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, one, two, three, and begin. Two, three, one, two, three. If you have music going, find your own beat. If you don't, just, you know, go with me or whatever. <sighs> Adding your own music if you want. I highly encourage music. I'm just, you know, working out in silence, which I kind of like now, but heart rate should be getting up. When you get down in that position, you're back on the heel, keeping that chest lifted just a little bit. Five seconds, three, two, one, jog it out or step it up. We're going jumping jack, front jack, jumping jack, front jack. Starting here in five seconds. Three, two, and out, front, out, front, out, front. You can always step it one foot at a time if you need that lighter impact. Your body's not quite awake enough for this. Keep moving. Okay. Good we're working next. We're good. Crisis averted. I was also like chugging coffee right before this. So in probably like 20 minutes it's gonna hit me. Three, two, Jog it out or step it out. You're gonna come into a squat, turn, punch. Squat, turn, punch. Squat, you got four, three, two, one. Squat, turn, squat, turn. Get some momentum and some speed with that punch. When you punch with the left hand, pivoting those left toes. When you punch with the right hand, Pivoting those right toes. Keep your chest lifted. Keep that core tight. Back on the heels. So the rounds are gonna get progressively harder. That first round shouldn't have been too bad. This round should be challenging, but you're not like absolutely dying. Three, two, one, jog it out. We got the one, two, three step, the jumping jacks, and the squat turn punch. Starting in just a couple seconds. Three, two, take it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get back on that heel when you come down. Keep that knee trapping over that ankle. Don't let it go past the toes. It'll have to go forward a little bit. Don't fear your knee going forward. Just fear that heel coming off the ground. Couple more seconds. Three. Two, and jog it out, or step it up. 
that's a lot of cardio. Jumping jack, front jack. If you want to get started, you don't have to rest if you don't want to. We're going to get going in three, two, one. Jumping jack and front jack. So take it out and then take it narrow. I also do have my own spin bike. If anyone ever wants like a cycle class, I know that's probably a less common piece of equipment to have at home, but I'm more than willing to do like a little cycle class too. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. You can message me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever is CBQ. Keep it up. Four, three, two, jog it out. Squat, turn, punch. Then we're headed to the next set. It's gonna be a little more upper body. Just a little more. Three, two, right here. Squat, turn, punch. Get a nice twist through that core. Squatting down nice and low. Keep your chest lifted. Keep those abs tight and engaged. You got 20 seconds left. Heart rate should definitely be elevated by now. Three, two, one, jog it out. So we have mountain climbers, lunges, and then skaters. Mountain climbers, Push-up position, if going down all the way isn't good, you can be on like a couch or something. Three, two, mountain climb. As fast as you can go. Down in this push-up position, pulling that knee all the way to your nose. If that's too high impact, take it slower. Alternating feet, a little bit slower. You're gonna feel that core engage. You're gonna feel those shoulders starting to burn. You can hear me creepily breathing heavy because I'm working hard too. Keep going. Pump those knees. 15 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up, jogging it out. Alternating lunges. I want those arms lifted above you when you're in that lunge. So keep jogging like this. Three, two, one. Alternate feet. Alternate. When you bring those arms up overhead, forces that core to engage a little bit. But sometimes during a forward lunge, people will kind of like fall over their front leg. And if you have your arms up, you really feel yourself fall forward, keeping that chest straight up and down. Knee right over ankle. Back knee, not quite all the way to the ground, but almost. It'll also hit the shoulder a little bit when you hold the arms overhead. Whew. Three, two, one. Jog it out. Keep your feet moving, we got skaters. So skaters, side step or jump. If you have room, you can always just take it into a smaller movement. Three, two, one. So generally during like the rest period, I'll be showing you what you're going to come to as soon as you hear that little chime. If you want to make this a little bit harder, jump a little bit further. Maybe you reach for that toe. That'll get you that little squat, hitting that deep glute area. Keep it up. Hurry should be super elevated by now. Good. You got four, three, two. Step it out. Jog it out. 
mountain climbers, lunges, skaters. 10 seconds till mountain climbers. You got four, three, two, go. Pump those knees forward all the way to your nose. Keep the hands right under your shoulders. Maybe pulling the knees to the opposite elbow, getting a little bit more of a twist, going as fast as you feel comfortable going. Remember, everything is up to you. It's third or 45 seconds and you make it work. Whew. 10 seconds, push it. Your shoulders should be on fire. Three, two, and one. Bring it up, just jogging it out. Lunges with arms overhead. Three, two, I totally lied. <laughs> Three, two, one, down. <laughs> I'm so used to doing 10 seconds between rounds that I can literally time 10 seconds no matter what. So when I switch to 15 seconds between rounds, it just like messes with me because I'm just on the 10 second autopilot. Reach those arms up. Should hit those shoulders just a little bit, even though it's just holding the arms up. You can hold them up the whole time. 10 seconds till skate has. Two, one, jog it out, jog it out. I can't read my own handwriting, awesome. Skaters, starting here in three, two, one. Maybe again reaching for that toe. Keep your chest elevated. You're not rounding through the spine. You're pulling your shoulder blades back, keeping the hips back, sending that butt backward behind you, keeping that knee tracking over that ankle, not letting the knee go past the toe. Keep that back flat, 15 seconds. Ten, keep it moving. Three. Two, jog it out. We have burpees coming up. Burpees, side lunges, and a squat with a calf raise. So burpees are starting here in three, two, one. All the way down, all the way up. You can always step it back. You don't have to add that push up. You don't have to jump at the top. It can be right here. This is no impact, what I'm showing you right now. But it's still such a good exercise. Forces you to get down on the ground and to get back up. If you are jumping, you're putting most of the weight in your hands and you're landing as softly as possible. Push up, totally up to you. Totally optional. Three, two, <clears throat> One, jog it out, or maybe step it out. Standing centrally, alternating side lunges. So you're gonna lunge out to the side, back up. Opposite side, three, two, one. This is meant to be an easier exercise to do since we just did burpees. <clears throat> Keep that chest lifted, bending deeply into that knee. About to like slip on my own sheet of paper. If I ever do something really stupid during class, totally feel free to laugh at me. There was one class I'd like, you know, naturally I fill most of my class in the morning and I just chug coffee in the morning. And I just like burped really loud. I ended up deleting that class, but <laughs> you know, you gotta laugh at yourself. Three. Two, one, jog it out. 
Your feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat, touch the ground, come up, touch the ceiling, come on those toes for a calf raise. Squat, touch the ground with the heels down, lift. Three, two, begin. If you have weights, feel free to throw a dumbbell or two in here. You can use that touch the ground, touch the ceiling with a dumbbell or kettlebell or cat. I would try and do this with Booba if you weren't sleeping. Oh, he's awake now. Kind of. Get a nice burn through those caps. Get a nice low squat. Ten more seconds. One more round, and that interval time changes to 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Jog it out, step it out. Burpees, side lunge, squat, calf raise. Starting here in four, three, two, one. Burpees, down and up. 45 seconds is a long time for burpees. So pace yourself, because we still have a whole bunch of stuff coming up. And I want you to be nice and energized for that. Step or float, you never have to jump. Keep it moving, 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Jog it out, step it out. Side lunge. Whew. Starting here in three, two, one. Side lunge it out. Whew. Keep that chest lifted. Try not to smack my head into my spin bike. So I ordered the spin bike, and like at first I hated it. <laughs> it's because I built it wrong. I was literally been using it for like three weeks wrong. <laughs> and then like one day I was looking at it because I was thinking about just selling it. <clears throat> and then I was like, oh my God, I flipped that part around. That's why I'm so freaking far away from the handlebars. It's like I was like this to touch the handlebars. Four, Three, two, jog it out. You gotta squat, touch the ground, touch the ceiling. <clears throat> You're good, Helena. <laughs> Three, <clears throat> two, one, squat, touch ground, touch ceiling. Come up on those calves. <clears throat> Back on those heels. Keep that chest lifted. <clears throat> Back flat. So when you come down, you're not folding forward. You're squatting. <clears throat> look to where the wall meets the ceiling and look there. If you can't get all the way to the ground, jump all the way to the ground. Perfectly fine. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Four. Three. Two, one, <clears throat> jog it out, changing that interval timer, 30 seconds on with 10 seconds in between. As soon as my interval timer stops playing an ad. They just added ads to it and I am very sad. All right, starting here in 15 seconds, we're going a knee up on just one side. So foot back behind you, opposite foot in front, doesn't matter because we're just gonna switch sides. You're just kneeing it up. Starting here in three, two, go. Knee, knee, knee. Pump that knee forward. So it's just one leg, we're not alternating. We're here for 30 seconds. And then we switch in sides. Pump that knee. If you wanna maybe get a little bit of a jump, feel free to get a little bit of a jump. If you have more hamstring, send the foot straight behind you and hit that kind of hamstring jump. Lots of options. Three, two, 
One, jog it out. Opposite side. Starting here in three, two, one. Knee, knee, knee. This is as fast as you wanna make it. If you're playing music, <clears throat> 120 beats per minute is generally your happy place with cardio. Right around there. <clears throat> maybe you want to add a little bit more of a jump. Or maybe you just want to send that foot straight behind you. Hitting that hamstring. Four. Three. Two. I'm falling over. One. <clears throat> Push-ups with a pulse at the bottom. <clears throat> so you're going to hold it. Pulse it up. Three. Two, one. And Hillary, I'm not gonna count my pulses because we both know I can't count them. <laughs> I did a push-up video and I was like, pulse it twice, and I kept pulsing three times. You can always drop those knees if you need to. You should be pretty fatigued by now. <clears throat> Do what you can. Starting here and we're stopping in three, two, one, standing it up, jogging it up. Knee ups on each side. <clears throat> Three, two, one, knee up. Right back to it. <clears throat> if you have like a lighter dumbbell, you can always add that here as well. Pulling that in, it'll hit the shoulders just a little bit more. I like to give you options whatever equipment you have to make it work. You can always do the hamstring as well. Four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Jog it out. <clears throat> we have three rounds here. I don't think I told you that. Three, two, opposite side. Keep it up. Twenty seconds. Maybe changing it up with the dumbbell or swinging that foot behind you. Ooh. If you fall over, it's all good. Keep going. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Step it out. Push up. Pulse. Starting in three, two, one. Down and up, pulse it up. From this push-up is the perfect time to utilize that regular burpee or that modified burpee to get from this push-up position back to a standing position. So use it, doesn't matter if you hop, doesn't matter if you step, just teaching yourself a healthy and safe way to get up off the floor. Three, two, one, Step or float, jogging it out. Knee ups, last round. Three, two, one. Knee, knee, knee. <clears throat> as fast as you can go. Maybe pumping it up just a little bit faster. Really reach those arms out in front. Someone is driving by very loudly. <clears throat> Close my exercise ring. Three, two, one. Step it out. <clears throat> Opposite side. Three, two, and go. <clears throat> Pump that knee in. Suck that core. Add that hop if you want to, totally up to you. We've got the push-ups after this and the new exercises. Three, two, one, jog it out, walk it out. Keep your feet moving, push-ups in four, three, two, add that pulse if you can. Make sure you're breathing. 
So next round, we're gonna stand it up with a squat jump or a squat step. I'll show you those options. And then we're coming down for a side plank on either side. Four, three, two, one. So squat jump, you're gonna go wide to narrow, to wide, to narrow. If you're not jumping, wide, step narrow. Ready, and go. So wide to narrow, hopping or stepping. It's only 30 seconds. And we have 30 seconds of side plank on one side, 30 seconds of side plank on the other. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Keep that chest lifted, especially in that narrow squat. Four, three, two, jog it out. Side plank, you need to be on the elbow or on the hand. Up to you, feet staggered, stacked, or top foot up. Ready? and either hold or maybe drop and lift those hips. Heart rate should be nice and elevated. Hitting that shoulder and that core and that inner and outer thigh from forcing yourself to stabilize. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Opposite side. How you choose to get there, whether you like float it backwards or spin around like I did. Three, two, one. Hold up, down, lift, down, lift. Keep that core tight. Lift those abs nice and tall. It's not really about how low you go, it's how high you go with those hips. Getting that nice crunch movement through those obliques. You got four, three, two, one, and slowly bring it back up, jogging it out. Narrow and wide squat, how you get there is up to you. Three, two, one. Hop or step. If you're hopping, try to land as softly as you can. You would be quiet as a little boobat. I was filming something last night I made these like chocolate peanut butter muffins and in the middle of filming he like ran over and grabbed one and just ran off with it. I was so mad. Three, two, one. Jogger stepping out. Side plank. Starting here in three, two, one, and go. I totally still ate it though. I don't care. Drop and lower, the, drop and lift those hips. You can just hold. You can pull that top foot up. Up to you. Ooh. Heart rate should be elevated. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Switching sides. Ooh. Starting here in three, two, one, side plank it out, down and lift. Get a nice speed, try and find a pace that you can maintain. Give yourself like a beat to follow, kind of hold yourself accountable to push through. Before you just drop out of it, try dropping that bottom knee or bringing that top foot forward to help a little bit, lasting as long as you can. One more round through these exercises. Three, two, one. Standing it back up. Get your feet moving. Narrow and wide squat. One, two, three. I don't know why I counted up and not down. That was weird. I don't think I've ever done that before. <laughs> three, two, one. Get nice and low. Get that heart rate back up. We're gonna continue hitting those obliques and then go to shoulders and chest. In four, three, 
two side planks, then new exercises. Whew. Starting in three, two, one, down and lift, down and lift. I was looking at like microphones so I could like actually wear, but I just like would just amplify my breathing so much. So I'm just like, okay, keep going. And it sounds all creepy. Four, three, two, one, and rest opposite side. Starting in three, two, one, begin. So our next exercise is kind of like the knee up we did during the first 30 second round, but you're gonna send your leg out to the side and do like a side crunch with it. So you're gonna be standing and the foot will come out to the side and you pull the knee into the same elbow. I'll show you right after this. And then from there, we're gonna hit each side and then we're gonna do a push up back into a downward dog. Three, two, one. Bring it up, jogging it out. So send one foot out, you're gonna be right here, reaching over, kind of like we did during the warm up. Three, two, reach and pull. So you're hitting those obliques still. It's a super awkward movement, but you should feel those obliques engage, especially after we just hit the side plank. Keep going. It's falling out of the screen on my phone a little bit. Reach and pull. You can also do both arms and do just sort of an outside. If that oblique is feeling weird, jog it out, step it out. Opposite side, three, two, one. So when we hit the core at the end, we're gonna focus on that central core because we've done a lot of oblique work already. So it's just gonna be a focus on the central core for our like core and cool down after our last round of exercises. Keep going. You got four, three, two, one. Push up, down dog. So you lower yourself all the way down, sending it back, downward dog. Ready? and begin. Go for a narrower push-up and you can always drop the knees and go back child's pose instead. It's a great option to choose. You can drop the knees and then tuck the toes back for a full downward dog for kind of like a nice half in between. 30 seconds, not the worst thing for push-ups, but take a break if you need to, modify if you need to. You have three, two, one, utilize that burpee, coming up, obliques, three, two, reach overhead, side to side. You can even hop a little on that bottom foot, it's going to make this a little bit more cardio. Really make sure that you're getting that shoulder movement, tipping, that's where you're going to hit that oblique, the love handles. Three, two, one, and step it out. Opposite side. Ooh, three, two, and one. Should feel like you're doing some like ridiculous dance. I'm looking at myself and I'm like, ooh, that is an awkward movement. Tip, tip, says you're, I'm a little teapot. <laughs> Three, two, one. Walk it out, push up, down dog. Starting here in three, narrow push up. Two, hands under shoulders, and push up, down dog. You can always drop those knees at any point. 
when you hit that down dog. Should get a nice little stretch through the heels and hamstrings and the shoulders. You got four, three, two, one. One more round. Then we have one more round of like this style of exercise than just core. Three, two, one, side. Reaching as far as you can. It doesn't have to be super fast. Get that nice crunch through the side body. The foot that's on the ground, you're trying to plant through that heel. Reach it, reach it, reach it. Four, three, two, one. Step it out. Opposite side, three, two, one, go. I'm a little teapot. The caffeine's hitting. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so this always makes me think. <sighs> you got 10 more seconds. Keep it up. Squeeze those obliques. Three, two, one, rest. Push up, down dog. Then we have burpees. <laughs> You're welcome. Three, two, one, push up, down dog. Push up, down dog. So the burpee round is 30 seconds instead of a minute or 45. And again, you can make all those changes, stepping or floating adding that push-up, adding that jump. But we have a single arm push-up. It's a side push-up, don't freak out. Three, two, one, burpees. Hopping or stepping it forward, you got 10 seconds. If you wanna get started, go for it. Three, two, burpees. I feel like I'm like, one of the only people who legitimately loves burpees. <laughs> that exercise where I'm like, yep, <laughs> I am working. <laughs> Keep it up. You got 10 seconds left. That's it. Well, then two more rounds of this. Four, three, two, one. If you've done my chest workout, you know this one. You're gonna lay on your side, top arm down, Bottom arm crosses, lowering and lifting. Ready, go, side push up. If you can't get all the way up, use that bottom elbow, push it into the ground, that'll help you. So it's a side push up, single arm push up. Hitting that chest, shoulder, and tricep. Oh man, okay. I saw someone on YouTube who'd be like, do this with his feet out and just come all the way up. I was like, nope, cannot do that. Three, two, switch sides. So again, that top arm comes down, bottom arm wraps around. Three, two, one. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> My roommate's awake. <laughs> Sorry, I've been yelling. <laughs> I'm doing a live video. <laughs> He's used to be doing this. <laughs> I'm a morning exerciser, so it's like every morning at like nine-ish, I'm usually working out out here. That's when I film my videos. Three, two, one, bringing it up, burpees. Two rounds of that. So burpee, side push-up, side push-up. Two more rounds. Three, two, one, let's go. <sighs> Booba is also very used to me doing this. He doesn't attack me nearly as much as he did when I first started doing these. Because, you know, funny thing, when you start making very quick, sudden movements around an animal, they're like, what's going on? Is it playtime? And I'm like, no, don't attack me. <laughs> Four, 
three, two, one. Side push-ups. Top arm down, or top arm uh, hand planted. Bottom arm wraps around. Three, two, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep it up. Utilize that bottom elbow if you need that extra help. I feel this right in my tricep and right in my pec. I just discovered this exercise. Three, two, one. And by I just discovered it, I mean that I discovered a video that had it in it. <laughs> and I was like, that's cool. Three, two, one. Up and down. I'm not gonna claim that I made it up <laughs> as much as I would love to. We got one more round of burpees, one more round of side push-ups, and then we're done with the hard stuff. Just gonna finish off with core and stretching. This timed out like exactly how I wanted it to. Perfect. Oh, how am I so cool? I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one, and bring it up. Burpees, last round. Whew. Three, two, one, let's go. Last round of burpees. Burn it out, it's 30 seconds. This is the last high intensity thing we're doing. So use every last bit of energy that you have to burn it out. Ooh, I closed my move ring. What's up, Apple Watch? Hillary, you better be using your Apple Watch right now. <laughs> Four, three, Two, side push-up. Last round on each side. Three, two, one, up and down. So I think I'm gonna make this time a weekly time. I think I'm gonna do a Friday morning and a Saturday morning class. Maybe Friday evening as well, haven't decided yet. But I feel like Friday and Saturday morning hits just about everyone. Three, two, one. Let me know of other times you'd like live classes though, so I can add them in. I've got literally nothing else going on. So three, two, one. But from other instructors that I've talked to who do live classes, they were sort of like, you know, less is more. So I was like, they've been doing like two classes a day and they were like, I just do probably a couple days a week. It looks like Monday through Thursday is usually pretty stacked with classes. That's so why I was like, okay, Friday. And you know, what is Friday and Saturday anymore? <laughs> Literally nothing to me. Three, two, one, and shake it out. We done with the hard stuff. I'm gonna stop that timer for just a moment. I'm gonna roll out my mat for core just so I'm not like getting my river of back sweat all over my carpet. <laughs> but, um, if you have a mat, feel free to get it out. We're just gonna finish off with some core, um, about five minutes of core, five minutes of stretching, and then we done. That'll be like a full hour. So we'll get started in 15 seconds. Again, it's three exercises, three rounds through. We're gonna get started with a basic crunch, just up and down in three, two, one. Lifting it up, down. Keep your elbows wide here. Don't let the elbows come into your peripherals. Keep them wide, forces you to lift up and down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Brian, you wanna say hi to everyone on Zoom? Nope. <laughs> That's my roommate not encouraging us. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Look at you wearing a mask. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Hold it up if you want to. Hold it up. Hold it up. We're going to a bicycle in three, two. Feet off the ground. Elbow to knee. Elbow to knee. Try not to go super fast. Keep your low back pressed into the mat the whole time. Curling those hips up. 
keeping those abs engaged and really getting the shoulder blade off the ground. Twist your arm across. You can always drop those feet if you need to or skip those legs if that low back is talking to you. Three, two, one. Hold both feet up, hold the chest up. We're going to leg lifts in three, two, hands under butt, leg lifts. If that neck was talking to you, this should give your neck a nice little break. If your neck is fine, holding the head and shoulder blades up off the ground will make life just a little bit harder for you in the best of ways. Nothing like a hard life with exercise. <laughs> Not real life. <laughs> my roommate's judging me. <laughs> so I'm in my awkward rambling mode. <laughs> Keep it up. Four, three, two, one. Quick break. Two more rounds through that, but I'm going to show you some ways to make it a little bit harder. To make that crunch harder, feet out and in. Three, two, right here, or bringing those feet to the ground, coming back in that regular crunch. Pick your exercise. As you extend those feet, if you're extending them, low back stays firmly planted into the ground. 10 seconds. Rock that core again. We're staying pretty central through that core. We hit those obliques a lot already. Three, two, one. Hold it in. Lift up the chest. You can take a break if you need it, but you know, try and hold. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bicycle option to straighten those legs out here making it a little bit more challenging. Elbow across the body. And I've had the request for some like, more like kind of 10, 10 to 15 minute ab videos. I'm gonna record a few of those probably later today. Three, two, and one. Hands under butt, feet straight up. For this one, it makes it a little bit harder. Come down, pulse it at the bottom, and then come back up. Pulse at the bottom, 30 seconds. Keep that core tight. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold your breath. Whew. You got warm in here. You got four. Three, two, and one. Elbow crunches, regular crunches, or we did before with the elbows, you're gonna dig the elbows into the ground, pushing the elbows into the ground to lift yourself up and back down. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Dig those elbows into the ground. Any type of crunch here. This one can strain the neck a little bit, so try and pretend like you have like a tennis ball under that chin. Try different chin positions so you find something that's comfortable, and if you can't, just change it to a different crunch. You have four, three, two, one. Bicycle. Option for regular bicycle, straight leg, or maybe reach into the opposite foot. Oh, hi, boo bite. Three, two, go. Hand on this foot, I'm going to try not to kick my cat. <laughs> we'll see. At this point, it's his fault if he gets in the way. Hi, baby. Good morning. How are you? Are you coming to lay on me? Keep going. <sighs> Unless you have a cat, then give the cat attention. <laughs> hand to foot, hand to foot. <sighs> Three, two, one, and rest it. Hands under butt, adding that pull. So maybe coming down, out, in, lift. Down, out, in, lift. Down, oh, boo butt's climbing on me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Just what I wanted. <laughs> Thank you so much, baby. You are so good to me. I know. <laughs> this is my life now. We're gonna stretch after this. <laughs> we can see the screen. He is just laying right on me. <laughs> Three, two, and one. 
slowly rolling it up into a seated position. Hi, baby. Bring those feet straight out in front of you. <laughs> Reach for the toes. I'm sorry, I know you just got very comfy. We're just gonna stretch it out now. <sighs> 10 more seconds. We're gonna hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. And by about 30 seconds, I mean 30 seconds. <laughs> and slowly bring it up, taking the feet out nice and wide. Hi, hi boo, yes. Are you getting involved now? Feet out wide, reach either in front or toward your toes, whatever makes um, you feel like you're getting a better stretch and sending yourself down as close to the ground as you can. Everyone always like, you're so flexible, but I just have super long arms. Literally my arms are the same length as my legs. Like, I don't even have to fold forward to touch my toes. So, not that I'm inflexible, but like, I have an advantage. <laughs> Thirsty kitty. Three, two, one. Heels together. Butterfly. So keep your chest lifted here. Shift your hips forward. And then come into that forward fold. Oh, thank you for getting up on a Friday morning and working out with me. Um, I think I'm going to do another class tomorrow morning. I uh, haven't decided yet. I will think it'll make it 1030 because again, like it's Saturday and you know, people want to do a crazy quarantine on a Friday night. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bring it into a lunge position. Doesn't matter which foot in front. Back foot, back knee is down. You're going to push the hips forward and pull an arm across, stretching out the hip flexor and the shoulder at the same time. And tomorrow, um, I'll go ahead and just do a class tomorrow. Don't know what time, just keep um, social media, look at social media. Um, we'll do either weights slash resistance bands. I'll try and make it work with both. Um, we'll see. I only have 10 pound dumbbells, that's all I could find. Three, two, one, switching sides. Take your time switching sides. Whew. And we'll make it more of like a strength focused workout. Three, two, one, reach across. Push your hips forward, stretch that shoulder. Ooh, push those hips forward. And deep breathing. Your heart should have recovered a little bit. You should be like, okay, I can breathe now. <laughs> Whenever I stop talking, that's when I'm getting tired. Three, two, one. Slowly come into a standing position. Grab one foot. We're gonna stretch out that quad. Knees together, hips push forward, chest lifted, and stretch out that quad. Pull that foot back to the butt. You can hear that through the microphone, but it's crackled my neck. <laughs> Whenever I go to a chiropractor, they're always like <laughs> on everything. It's great. <laughs> Three, two, one. If any of you are lifetimers at my classes, um, I know there's a few of you, but three, two, opposite foot. There's a time like right after Christmas when I like screwed up my back and like I went to this chiropractor. He like just touched my back and everything popped. I literally couldn't move for like a week. I woke up in the morning and like the day after Christmas I was working and I'm like pulling this card out on the airplane and then something just popped in my back and I could not move for literally a week. Had to like sub out my classes, which I never do. <laughs> Three, two, one. Reach one arm up, grab the elbow. Reach down your spine. We're just gonna hit this stretch on each side, stretch out that shoulder and tricep, getting a nice stretch through here. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Get some good, healthy, lean protein.
I'm almost done. Thank God. <laughs> Three, two, one. Just kind of shake those arms out for a second. We're going to hit the other arm. Three, two, opposite arm up. Grab the elbow, reach down the spine. So tomorrow, a little bit more of a, like a strength focused workout. And with weights slash resistance bands. And then yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> there might be some moments where it's like, if you don't have bands, you can't do this one. Or if you don't have weights, you can't do this one. But I'll try and do the best that I can. Three, two, one. Inhale the arms up. And exhale down. Two more. Inhale the arms up. And exhale down. One more. Inhale the arms up. And exhale down. You guys are done. I'm going to turn this one off.